page, in the Shia, we're up to page 2178 on the bottom. The last two lines of the page, 2178. Oh, uh, 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 I see what you mean. Okay, 21, okay. I'll I'll put in the two lines. We're st we're, count we're on to 2179, but I'm just going to start from the beginning of the paragraph. Okay. Up till now, the Rebbe spoke that there is a function that's being accomplished through the Jewish nation, and there's a function that's being accomplished through the Malach and the angels. The angels help Yidden elevate their Teda, their Tefillah, their prayers, the study of Teda, because they're more spiritual. They're not in bodies, so therefore they're able to refine and elevate the letters of, of, and the words of prayer. And uh, therefore, when it comes to crowning Hashem, it, is, it, it comes initiated on the part and behalf of the Jewish nation, but they're the ones they accomplish it, the, the, the Malachim. But actually, it all starts from the Jewish nation, because the Jewish nation are the ones that, by saying Krishna, when they merit it, by Matan Teda, by the giving of Teda, they merited the union of Krishna, and from there, they um, merited Krishna by the giving of Torah, and therefore, that is considered the Shira, that is considered their song. And then, everything is dependent that the whole day, in a spiritual level, in the Gan Eden, begins from the Jewish nation. First the Nishomas, and then the Malach and the angels. So now we go on, the Rebbe says that in the same way that there was the uh, uh, revelation by Matan Teda, by the giving of Teda, is Vihine Kishem Shal Yagilu Zebe Matan Teda Bepama Rishena. In the same sense that there was the revelation by Matan Teda the first time, Al Derazel Bechol Shana Vishana, it repeats itself every year. Kimaimer Va Yomim Ma'ela Niskarim Venasim. That it's Kimaimer. And if you look, okay, you don't have the footnotes. In the bottom it says 34. 34, so the Chayda, we would think it's a Pasuk in Megillah. And actually it is a Pasuk, a verse in the Megillah of Esther. Uh, but here the reference that's made is Leiv Dovet Rechidah. This, this insight, this explanation, that Vayom Ema'ilan is caught in Menasim means that when days are remembered in the right way, Nasim, they repeat themselves, is a word from the Chidah. The Rebbe mentions it a lot. It's based on the Arizal. So the Memela, that the words are remembered and accomplished, activated. In other words, these days are remembered and accomplished. The events of those days repeat themselves every year if they remember they are remembered in an appropriate way. That when they remember, we remember the Yomim Elo, we remember these days. Kitty boy in an appropriate way. Bizikorn al Pitera. Okay, this is we're up to point twenty one seventy nine. Teira Semes. We remember it through Teira, which is Teira Semes. In other words, in a true way, in a way of Teira, in a way of uh, as Teira teaches us, which Teira is truth. Observance. Ah. Observance. Yeah, right, right. But I'm saying remembering it in a way that Teira says that this is what's happening now. Through this is accomplished and drawn down all the, the revelations from above. The union of Nasim means Kipshute. Nasim is Kipshute. It means Nasim in a physical sense. It comes down in the physical world. First, it comes down in a practical sense. That's Asiya. In the world which is considered a practical world, this physical world, till the level of Asiya in Asiya, which means not just Asiya, but since every world is, is related to Kedusha, and therefore, we're up to page 2179, the, the, the second line. So since every world is, is Kedusha, is its source from Kedusha, so therefore every world consists of the other worlds. There's a skalalus, there's a blend. Because in Kedusha, in sacred matters, everything is blended together and one coexists with the other. 
So therefore, <coughs> what does mean Asiya of Asiya? Asiya Sheb Asiya means the lowest level, Neilam Asiya, because every world consists of the higher world. Asiya consists of Atsilus, Briya, and Yitzira. There's Atsilus Sheb Asiya, there's Briya Sheb Asiya, Asiya, there is Yitzira Sheb Asiya. Oh, then there's Asiya Sheb Asiya, Mam is the lowest. Atsilus Sheb Asiya. Atsilus Sheb Asiya is Nishoma of Meisha Rabbein in this physical world. The Rebbe once mentioned that when Meisha Rabbeinu was speaking to Pari, you had, you didn't have to look for, who knows in distance, and there's no, you can't even measure it in distance, Atsilus and Gimoklipas Atmeus. Atsilus and the lowest elements, negative elements, one speaking to the other. So we would think it's a distance. Akmanein, it's no distance. Meisha Rabbeinu speaking to Pari, you have these two extremes, both of them in front of your eyes. So therefore, it's Asiya Sheb Asiya, which is the lowest level in Asiya. Be'ela Mazer. Kipshuto means it's happening again. The Vashmus. Right. It's, it's happening again, and there's a revelation. And as the Rebbe mentions further, the revelation is a new one that didn't happen even before yet. It never happened even more. And sometimes the Rebbe mentions it's a Er Chodosh. It's a new revelation that didn't happen even in the first time, in a sense. But the, you mentioned the Chidah says that, on, that only if it's observed, does it happen? But what if it's, what if, what people if it is being happen? commemorated in the right way, in this cutting, then it's Nasim. If it's commemorated in the right way, then it brings it down that it's also a, that it's drawn down in a practical sense. In other words, it won't just happen on its own. There needs to be a vessel to bring it down, which actually we can connect it with a Gemara. The Gemara says, when you get to redemption, it says that it's in Ein Deirash law. It says, Tzia in Ein Deirash law, there's no one asking for her. So it says, Mechlal de Boi Drisha. It's a raya that a person needs to ask for the redemption. Because it says, Ein Deirash law. And through asking, we draw down, we draw down. So therefore, over here is by remembering the Yom Tev. It's a vessel, a channel through which to bring it down. So, so, so what, my, my real question is, if, if Jews are, certain Jews don't observe it, then the, the people that do observe it are bringing it down for only themselves, or the people that are not observing it are also having hashpa? We don't find too much, this, the, 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 too many details in this inyan. It is just mentioned in general that when a person mentions a Yom Tev, it is a revelation for his neshama, a spiritual experience, and the neshama, Prashat, receives energy in Teiru Mitzvahs. So Be'ilam Azeh Atachna in this low world, Shein Tachnu Lemata Memena, there's nothing lower than that. Sheshom Tzorech Lases Le'izborech Dira Betachteinu. That there he needs to make for Hashem a dwelling place. Getting back actually to your question, when a person does accomplish something, he influences the, himself and his immediate domain and his environment. And the more he speaks with his environment, the more he has an influence on the environment. But someone that's Mamish completely isolated from him, so uh, since there was no vessel there, so it's hard to, to know, you know what, what actually takes place. The Inyan Zeshaya ben Yuchad Lamatan Teira. The Inyan of Dira Le Yisborich, a dwelling place for Hashem, is exclusively pertains to Matan Teira. Kineida, as it is known, Behuva Bekama Drushim mentioned in many Drushim, Sheacharim Matan Teira, Yidiyas Ratzon Hashem, Sheupsaka Aloha Shebeteira, that after Matan Teira, the Yidiyas Ratzon Hashem, knowing the will of Hashem, which is actually the verdict as it is in Teira, Hidafka Yide Piske Atachteinim Lamata. It is Dafka through the verdicts from the Atachteinim, Dafka from this physical world. And in, which means that in order that it should come down this physical world, it has to come, and in order that it should even be a final verdict in the higher worlds, they are waiting, the heavenly world, the higher worlds are waiting that this should be clarified by someone that finds himself in this physical world. This is what the Alter Rebbe says in the Geras HaKedash in chapter, chapter 26, the Geras HaKedash Chavov, that the Elyenim, the Milo, the higher spheres are waiting, the creations are waiting, that here it should be passed as a verdict in a physical sense, and this is where the Allah is clarified. Which with this we understand, what the Rebbe actually quoted this Yigeras HaKedosh, that in Shabbos Chalamei Tzukas, Tov Shin Lamed and during the war Yom Kippur, the Rebbe then fabreng, which is very unusual, the Rebbe never fabrenged a Tzukas in Shul, if anything, it was Shemini Atzeres and Chasteira, but Sukkot to Fabreng in Shul, 
and not to have l'chaim or anything is very unusual.